You've already seen how Swift uses if let to check and unwrap optionals, and it's the most common way of doing that. But there's a second way of doing a very similar thing called guard let. It's not quite as common, but it's still very, very useful. Here's how it works. Here's a function called print square of number some optional integer. It might have a value inside, a billion, it might not, nil. Inside there, we're going to say guard let number equals number, else print missing input and return. So we'll unwrap the optional integer into a shadowed constant of itself, number. Otherwise, print missing input and return. And after that finishes, after the guard block, we'll say print number x number is number star number. So like if let, guard let checks whether an optional has a value inside, and if it does, it retrieves the value and places it into a constant of our choosing, a shadowed number constant in this place. However, the way it does so flips things around from if let. For example, if we had an optional integer equal to three called my var, and we unwrap that using if let, the code between the open and close braces would run only if my var had a value inside. It would not run if there was no value inside. Alternatively, guard let the same code will only run between the braces, the code there, if it does not have a value inside. So if let runs a code inside the braces, if it has a value inside the optional, guard let runs a code between the braces if there is not a value inside the optional. And that explains why guard let uses this else keyword. Check that we can unwrap the optional, but if we can't, then yada, yada, yada. Now I realize that might sound like a very small distinction, but it has important ramifications. You see what guard does for us is provide the ability to check whether our program state is what we expect. And if it isn't, bail out to exit from the current function, for example. This is sometimes called an early return. We check that all of function's inputs are valid, what we expect them to be, uh, as soon as the function starts, just get it done straight away. And if any aren't valid, we run some code, then exit straight away. On the other hand, if all our checks pass, our function carries on exactly as intended, what's often called the happy path. Guard, is designed exactly for the style of programming. And in fact, there's two things to help us. First, if you use guard to check a function's input, Swift will always require you to exit the function if your tests fail. So guard, this optional has a value, else bail out. You must exit the function if your check fails. And second, if a check passes and the option you're using has a, a value inside it, it gets unwrapped and put into your constant, but then it's made available after the, the guard code is finished. You can carry on using it. It remains in scope for us to use. Now you can see both of these in action if you look at the print square function from earlier. Over here is print square. This part is our guard check. If number is nil, this will fail. It'll print missing input. And here, this return is required. We must exit the function here. If I remove that line of code and ask Swift to run it, it will complain loudly. You must not fall through. You must return or throw to exit the scope. It has to happen. You must exit the current scope, which for me is the whole function. Just bail out entirely. But then after the guard finishes down here, I can safely say print number times number is number times number. This is now the unwrapped integer we got from the guard. It stays in scope even after the guard finishes. So use if let to unwrap optional so you can work with them somehow, it's down to you. And use guard let to ensure optionals have something inside them, otherwise bail out. I would say if we we're finished, you can use guard with any kind of condition and you still get the, the return behavior, including ones that don't wrap, unwrap optionals, right? For example, you could say, 
guard samurai is empty else return and that's perfectly fine